What's going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 coolest add-ons I found for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Alright guys, for the number 5 spot is more animation add-on. What this add-on does, it makes your character do more animation than usual. For example, walking. You know when you're walking, it looks normal, but with this one, it looks like you're walking like in a 3D animation thing. It looks really sick and cool. Alright guys, this is what the animation looks like when you're walking. And when you run, it looks like this, and you could jump it also... And when you crouch, you can also do this. It also changes when you ride a horse. See, like when you're riding a horse, look at this. Look, you see your legs spreading out. Like, it just looks, it looks more perfect than, like, when you play. This add-on also changes these mods, too. For example, for this pig, let's look at the pig real quick. See, it blinks. And it looks around, too. That's awesome. For a creeper... For a creeper, it makes them angry like that. It looks really sick. For a zombie, it opens its mouth, so we gotta wait for that. See, it opens its mouth and also blinks too, so that's pretty cool. And for a villager, it like opens his like unibrow and it looks pretty cool. Look, it, like he looks interesting to trade with me. And he also blinks too. When you're swimming, it also changes the animation too with this. But like when you're like trying to run and swim, I don't think it does that. It doesn't change that either. I don't think so. It also changes when you attack. For example, for the sword, when you attack, it does this animation. And when you're chopping for wood, you just chop it like this. It also changes how you're holding it. With the pickaxe, it does this. And with the shovel, yeah, shovel looks really boring. When you're fighting, you can, it also changes the animation too. This add-on also changes when you're fishing with, an, with a new animation. So let me just put this in the water. You can see that, look, it looks normal, right? But when you're crouching... Look at that, he's like holding it with two hands and looks more better too. Looks, it looks really awesome. When you have a shield, when you crouch, it just does that like, I mean it looks alright but like, yeah that's also there too. It also changes the animation when you're flying as well. So if I go up here and fly, and if I use my, my fireworks, so let me just fly here, and then just go up. Alright, when you're up in the air, this is, this is what you gotta do, you gotta crouch. And it also spins. Like, look at that. See, like, it spins it around when you just fly. Just cl click crouch. And boom, look at that. It also changes when you're in creative mode and you're, like, up in the air. Like, also does, like, too. It looks like you're, like, Herobrine or something. All right, guys. I think that's all the features for this animation add-on. So, let's go to number four. All right, guys. For the number four spot for this add-on is the Herobrine add-on. To spawn Herobrine, you have to make his head. To make his head, you have to have four rotten flesh and a nether star. Once you get Herobrine's head, you have to have these blocks over here. You have to have eight blocks of gold, one musty stone brick. First, you need to put all your golden blocks around and leave one in the middle. Guys, I'm very sorry. You actually need musty cobblestone, not the other one thing I was talking about. Cause like, I thought it was that cause like, like they both look the same. So anyways, you gotta place it in the middle and get this. And once you're done building this, all you do is put this in the middle and oh, I just got hit. And now here, Brian is in your world. And so let me just get prepared and wait until he comes after me. Put my armor on. And now let's just wait. As you guys can see, like, look what here, Brian did. Look, look what he did to all these trees over here. Like, holy moly. Alright, I don't know where Hero Brian is. I don't know where he spawns. Like, I think he just spawns randomly and, like, he attacks you. Oh! Oh, he's over here! Let's go! Alright, he just... <laughs> oh, oh, he's right there! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, he's so strong! Alright. Jeez. Alright, that, that, that really scared me. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, he's starting to burn all the trees right now. Oh my god, now I'm on fire! No! This music... Oh my god, he's right here! What is that? A di this is freaking... I can't speak. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No! Oh my god, he's right here and I have nothing! Oh, chill. I don't want... Oh, he just ran away. Okay. Oh my god, TNT! I was about to end this. But like, you know, he does more things. Like, this, this is not all he does. He also spawns TNT. He also like controls like... Like the mobs too. Like, it's, it's really weird and scary too. Now let's head on to number three. Oh my god! Alright guys, for the number 3 spot is the lucky block add-on. Not just one, not just two, but there's three lucky blocks here right now. It looks really sick and cool. So for this one, it's just a normal lucky block. 
The purple one over here is a super lucky block. And this red one slash orange over here is an unlucky lucky block. To make the normal lucky block is pretty basic. You just need you just need to get gold and place it around. And that's it. And then boom, you got it. To make this super lucky block, all you need is lapis and put it around. And put the lucky block in the middle. And then boom, you got it. To make the unlucky block, you just need to get redstone, put it around, and put the lucky block in the middle. Alright guys, I'm about to open the lucky block, so let's, let's open the normal lucky block. Look, it looks basic, and like it looks just looks normal, so let's just open it, and we got another, we got an enderman. Open the next one. We got carrots and other things, alright? Let's open the next one, and now I'm just really slow. The next all oh, oh no oh no oh no I'm gonna die get look in the water no all right guys let's continue opening these lucky blocks as you can see I lost my l super lucky block I can't really find it anywhere so I'm just gonna go take one over there and let's just open one I guess all right let's continue opening this and we got some good stuff all right open this all right just I, I think I saw some TNT in there what is this Okay, uh, I don't know what that is. Let's continue, and I got... Oh my gosh. I am really dizzy right now. Let's open this. I just got a farm, I guess. Uh, let's open this. Oh my god, TNT! Alright guys, time to open one of the unlucky blocks. So let's open this, and I gotta go step far away, and let's open it. And okay. Okay, I got that. Hold on, I want to see some TNT. That's not TNT. He, okay, Hero Bryant. He's just saying dot, 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 all right? And I got it again. And I'm dizzy again. Uh, Oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm so dizzy. Oh, my God, my eyes are starting to hurt. No. Oh, my God, he's following me. I right, just open this real quick. Oh no! All right, there we go, and let's just escape. And I got this. No! All right, guys, let's open our last unlucky lucky block. So let's see what we get. And I got. Oh, I'm just really weak now. All right, guys, since I lost my super lucky block, I'm just gonna take this from here and let's just open it. Let's just open one, I guess. All right, let's see what do we get. Wow, I got some pretty good stuff. I got I got some dime. Oh, I only got one. All right, guys, that's the lucky block add-on. So let's head to number two. All right, guys, for the number two spot is the furniture add-on. So I downloaded this house over here so I could put the furniture in it so you guys can see how to use them. It looks pretty cool. It makes your house even better, like inside. And yeah, let's just go inside right now. All right, guys, you know we got some. Oh my God, a creeper! Whoops. Uh, okay, let's go to the next room then. Alright guys, we've got the kitchen. Look, you know, not too bad, not too bad. There's a trash can over here. You can actually put stuff in it here. There's also a microwave. You can't put you can't put stuff in there. You can put stuff in the cabinets. Like, you can put this over here. And you can also put food in here. Like, it looks pretty cool, awesome. And yeah, that's the kitchen. Let's go let's head upstairs. Alright guys, we have this room. Here's the couches. Finally, you can actually sit in there. It looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can, only one person can sit there. And it's not even in the middle, so that kind of sucks. You can also sit in this chair right here. You can scoot up a little bit, play some Minecraft in Minecraft. You know, that's pretty funny. I really like this because you could, like, you could ride like it's a horse. So look at this. Whee! Let's do this. All right, let's head on to the bathroom. So, like, there's a toilet. And there's a tub over here. You can actually sit in here. You can also sit in the toilet as well. You know, it's a pretty cool feature. You know, I like that. Let's go back to the chair. So wash your hands right there. And now let's go in this room over here. You know, there's the bed. There's another setup right here. You can actually put stuff in here as well. So you can put that stuff here. And now let's go to the closet. There's a trash can over there. And, you know, you can put stuff in there too. I forgot to show you guys this. Like, there's a dining area. You can sit in the chair. You know, just sit on them. Which one you pick. There's, like, there's some water. There's some plates. You know, you could. it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty really cool to decorate in your house. And yeah, I decorated this house and put all those furnitures in there. But there's more furnitures in this add-on that I didn't show up. So let's go. Sh I'm going to go show you guys right now. 
All right, guys, these are all the furnitures and the add-on. Looks pretty cool. So the couch, there's some chairs. There's some there's some things I didn't use in the house. Like, for example, for this fan, this table. And, yeah, guys, that's the furniture add-on. Let's head to the number one spot. All right, guys, for the number one spot is the hardcore mode add-on. All right, guys, to start this add-on, you have to go to chat. And then you got to type func functions and that I word that I can't say. All right. After you're done typing that, click enter, and then see so that you get all of this. And then once you get this, you have to place it down. Click on it. Then you go ahead to redstone and put a always active. After that, you go to command input and type this. After you're done putting always active, you go over here and type slash functions commandos. After you you go back, and it should work. Then you go to survival and yeah, you're in hardcore mode. You're in hardcore mode. After that, you put yourself in survival and and yeah, now you're in hardcore mode. To show you guys that it is hardcore mode, I'm actually going to build up and, and die and then I won't respawn and yeah, this is hardcore mode. All right, here I go. Boom, after you die, this is you're in this menu screen. And yeah, you're just stuck here. You can't go back. You can't do anything. And yeah. 